Hi, I'm Jerome. A lot of people have asked me what got me started inventing in the first place. And it all started with picture framing. I used to frame limited edition prints like this one. Sorry about the reflections from the lights, but this is a silk screen, for example, paper art. It's only maybe one of 95, I think this one is. There were only 95 of these, and they were fairly expensive. The problem was that people who bought them would take them home and hang them up after they were framed and come back in complaining because the surface would have warped because moisture penetrated the backing. This was one of the earlier prototypes. What we ended up doing was putting a sheet of clear plexiglass in the back of the frame. You can probably see the micro seal along this edge. We started with a sheet of plexiglass in the front with a sheet of plexiglass in the back. And on this one, I put a, another sheet of clear on this because I wanted the name of the artist and all of his information to be seen. Normally we had brown paper or white paper. Past that we either had a foam core sheet or we had cardboard. And the problem was moisture was getting into the artwork and causing it to warp. So what I started working on was trying to come up with a way to keep the moisture from getting in so that customers wouldn't come back complaining about the moisture getting into their artwork. It looks like a normal picture frame, but the big difference is moisture doesn't get into this. You'll also notice that there's a small square here. That small square was a scavenger that I ended up having to make. This scavenger is a little packet. I cut a hole in the foam core. It's the same thickness as the foam core, so it's embedded right in. It's got holes on the inside as it scavenges any of the contaminants or moisture that could have been trapped inside between the two sheets. Additionally, inert gas, at the time I was using nitrogen gas, was pushed into the whole sealed enclosure to force out all the oxygen. I was trying to create a completely inert environment for the artwork so that it would slow it down in aging. In fact, even the plexiglass sheet that was used in the front of this filters ultraviolet as well as the fact that it won't break. Well, I guess if you really wanted to break it, it would, but normally, no, it's, it's not really going to break. I've had these framed for 30 years and um, still look as good as the day they were framed.